Today on the Daily Dose Special Edition, Ken Kesey and the Merry Pranksters. During his residency at the Perry Lane Artist Colony near the campus of Stanford University, Ken Kesey earned a graduate fellowship in creative writing after graduating from the University of Oregon. After participating in government-sponsored studies on the effects of hallucinogenic drugs such as mescaline and LSD, he wrote the wildly successful novel One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. During his literary rise, Kesey assembled an entourage of first-generation acid heads known as the Merry Pranksters, who modified an old 1939 International Harvester school bus into a traveling road show known as Further, or in popular culture, The Magic Bus. When the publication of his second novel, Sometimes a Great Notion, required his presence in New York, Kesey and his merry pranksters took to the road in Further for an LSD-soaked road trip to the East Coast as they attempted to create art out of everyday life. The entire journey was filmed for a planned movie that never came together, while at the wheel of Further was hammer-tossing Neil Cassidy, who was author Jack Kerouac's inspiration for his road-hungry character, Dean Moriarty, in his Beat Generation novel, On the Road. Speakers on the inside of the bus piped in road sounds from outside the bus, while speakers on top of the bus blared the sounds of the pranksters from inside the bus, creating a mayhem of competing sounds for the tripping occupants within. The pranksters were given prankster names, which foretold the pranking madness of what it meant to be on the bus. There was Doris Delay, on account of her uncanny likeness to film star Doris Day. There was Generally Famished, on account of her constant hunger during the now legendary acid-fueled bus trip. There was Hassler, on account of the fact that he hassled with all things electronic and audio during the acid test that would follow the bus trip. Others included Black Maria, Cool Breeze, Hermit, Zonker, Gretchen Fetchin the Slime Queen, Stark Naked the Beauty Witch, Something's Missing, Cadaverous Cowboy, Pitcher, No Turn Unstoned, Mary Microgram, Barely Visible, The Minister of Information, and of course the Chief, Ken Kesey himself, at the helm of his merry band of truth seekers as they attempted to unvalve their minds through acid. Once the pranksters had done their New York thing, they headed upstate for a visit with Timothy Leary, who was the undisputed acid guru of the Eastern Seaboard. While Leary contended that a controlled set and setting were vital for a safe acid trip, Kesey and the pranksters believed in multimedia madness for their now legendary acid tests held in and around the San Francisco Bay Area, which included immense light shows that beamed old movies in psychedelic spirals, lava blobs, and black light shooting stars everywhere throughout their chosen festival site. Jerry Garcia and the Grateful Dead became the prankster's house band, creating the sort of mellow, spongy music that acid heads found irresistible. The high watermark for the pranksters began to unravel in late 1966 after the federal government outlawed the use or possession of LSD. Even before the law was passed, Kesey was arrested on a largely trumped-up possession of marijuana charge at his La Honda home. Following a second marijuana arrest two days later, a two-strike crime at the time that came with a mandatory prison sentence. In response, Kesey faked his own suicide by having friends leave his truck on a cliffside near Eureka, along with an elaborate suicide note written by the pranksters. Kesey fled to Mexico in the back of a friend's car, only to return to the States eight months later, where he was promptly apprehended by police. After serving five months in the San Mateo County Jail, upon his release, he moved back to his family farm in Pleasant Hill, Oregon, where he maintained a secluded, family-oriented lifestyle for the rest of his life. Perhaps still a prankster at heart, but a prankster no more. And there you have it, Ken Kesey and the Merry Pranksters, today on the Daily Dose Special Edition. If you like learning something new every day, subscribe to the Daily Dose on YouTube 
or sign up for emails at dailydosenow.com.